Roll em. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah. Now, you guys already know my relationship with food, how dependent I am on it, how much I love it, how it makes me feel on the inside, and what it does for me emotionally. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, just to reiterate it again, I love food. What? What do they make food for? You the hottest plate in this place. But there is one specific Hawaiian dish that I absolutely love. It's not a dish that's super fancy. It's something that could be eaten at breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's the loco mojo. Now obviously this Hawaiian dish isn't really considered traditional Hawaiian food, but it is contemporary Hawaiian and is one of my favorite Hawaiian dishes of all time. Now the first restaurant that we went to, I did not like this loco mojo at all. But everybody else at the restaurant enjoyed their dishes bunch of bitches. But my friends, on another day, the saving grace came from this place called Huki Lao Cafe. Huki Lao Cafe's food is exactly what you want from contemporary Hawaiian dishes. The loco moco here was on point, the gravy was super good, the patty was bomb, the rice was great, but most importantly was how awesome they cooked those eggs. Now if you're a true foodie out there, I know you guys can appreciate this next clip of this egg yolk busting all over the food underneath it. There's something sensual about an egg yolk cracking over something. I don't know what it is, but me toy toy is hard. <laughs> the fuck's a toy toy? It's a new one for penis. Toy toy. Contemporary Hawaiian food doesn't really have what I call a lightness to it. A lot of their plate lunches are high fat, high carb. So you best believe after you eat the food, you're gonna feel super satisfied and you will get a kanak attack, AKA the itis, food coma. And of course, what would Hawaii be without having one of their dope local restaurants right next to a bitch? Even when Hawaii is gloomy, it's it's absolutely beautiful to me. I, it's just something about the ambiance and the milieu. Even though the skies were gray, the water had this beautiful teal color to it, and you're there with your friends and family. What more could you really want in life? But of course, after I eat, I tend not to go in the water because then I just look like a plump turkey for a shark to eat shit. <laughs> Y'all probably don't know this, but when I swim in the ocean, I look like an exact replica of a baby seal. <laughs> to the stars. 